Florence's Oltrarno is dotted with tabernacles, and two of these just got a makeover. You may have noticed the myriad of these curious outdoor paintings during your walks around the city. Known as tabernacles, Florence has a deeply rooted tradition with these medieval and renaissance artworks, especially when it comes to the Oltrarno, where you very well may find one on every corner. The tabernacles in the neighborhood of Oltrarno, and for that matter all over Florence, are both an example of public art, but a devotional art as well. Uh, at one time they were built uh, for prayer, to hold masses when there, were, uh, when there was the Black Plague in the 1300s so that people would not have to come and, and gather in churches. So for various reasons they were put. Um, there were also almost spaces of meditation and a prayer, of course, tabernacles. Uh, but Florence is very famous for them because they are really literally found all over the city and also in the country uh, roads around the city. So uh, the Comitato dei Tabernacoli, which is the committee uh, which takes place of the Friends of the Museums of Florence, uh, has organized a program for the last 25 years to restore slowly uh, one tabernacle after another. Friends of Florence became interested because the Florence chapter, uh, people who actually live here in Florence who are uh, supporting our, our mission and our projects have decided to take on a campaign of restoring uh, tabernacles uh, for the Florence chapter, for Friends of Florence and for the city obviously. Friends of Florence has chosen its fifth and sixth tabernacle as part of an ongoing restoration effort, both of which are located in Via Campuccio, just off Piazza Tasso. These two tabernacles, depicting the Madonna and Child, are unique for the fact that, despite appearances, they're actually contemporary works, made only in the 1950s during the area's urban redevelopment. Both frescoes are painted in a Renaissance style, recalling the historic tradition, but after more than 60 years outside, the works were in need of care. We uh, normally choose them. They're the chairman of the Florence chapter, uh, Alison Gilligan and uh, Kate Manetti, with the honorary chairman, Diana Richmond, who uh, gather, go and see the various tabernacles that are in need of restoration, and then choose which ones. These are actually our fifth and sixth uh, tabernacle, uh, and they're both very close together. The, the last two that we restored last year are both in Piazza di Carmine, uh, and the first two are always in Oltreadno. So by choice, perhaps because most of us live in this area, um, it's definitely less tourism, uh, but also many, many of the Florentines live in this area of the city, so uh, we find that it's a good gift uh, to give back to Florence itself.